there are so many children across Africa uh, that cannot attend school. They're denied the opportunity to attend school because of poverty, uh, because of death of their parents. Uh, we have childhood of families, children who live in the streets, um, children who scavenge on uh, rubbish dumps. Just a whole range of terrible situations that, that affect children and prevent them having a normal school activity. Uh, my name is Alan McElhenney and I'm Executive Director of Open Schools Worldwide. The Open Schools Worldwide started just over 10 years ago when myself and Dr. Phil Rennix from the Association of Christian Schools International started dreaming about how we could have some sort of educational intervention uh, to work with marginalised children. And I started dreaming about how uh, Christian schools could impact their community by sending the high school students out to, to teach. I shared this idea with Phil and discovered that he had exactly the same idea. We came to South Africa and, and I started working with local educators here in South Africa to write materials and just to define what sort of intervention we, we could have. Okay, well this afternoon we're out in Nobody Village outside Ponokwane in Limpopo province. And we're visiting the Eagle's Nest Christian School have sent their outreach team out to this village. Okay, my name is Anna Mamavolo. I'm 18 years old from South Africa, Limpopo province in Nobody Village. I was just blessed by seeing the other children who are in the same situation as me who like were changed by what I've done for them like um, through my outreach I I helped about five children to come to Christ and one just passed away because he was like HIV positive but I thank God that he's using me to help the children who are on the same foot that I am and yeah, I want to thank God for that. Yes, and we, we can also see that the children who have been trained um, to go and reach out in the villages with this program have really got a passion for, for, the, um, for the children. And through the Open Schools Worldwide program, um, they've also been linked with other um, children at other schools and people are asking for the program. So we are very excited to see what the Lord is doing um, through this program. And we are privileged to be having um, people coming up and train our, our children twice a year to help the children in, in the uh, villages. It also gives uh, uh, children the opportunity to be discipled. So they use their children at risk uh, under one of the legs of the discipleship, the outreaches, to get uh, the trust of the children and uh, to play with them and then they, they sort of earn the right to speak to them and children start asking them why are you different, why do you guys love us and why do you come and meet us and then they will share the good news with them when the time is right. And so that's a wonderful tool also, children at risk, to get to the hearts of the children, to get the gospel out. So many of these children have just no hope, uh, they have no value. This area is called nobody and that reflects the opinion that many people have of these children. Marginalised, on the edge, uh, not worth uh, bothering with. So it's fantastic to see Christian young people wanting to make a difference. Uh, to bring hope to these children and to show them that God loves them and cares for them in a very special way. Uh, currently in South Africa we just have one full-time staff member and that is not really a very good situation for us because uh, Dorian Slingers, our director for Southern Africa, is really stretched in trying to cover South Africa, Zimbabwe and Swaziland. I'm Dorian and I'm from Gauteng! <laughs> Uh, we have an amazing team of volunteers, but we really need to bring on um, extra staff to, to cover this work. Um, also, distributing materials across South Africa is expensive, getting the materials out to our different projects and bringing them up to um, Zimbabwe, and just the cost of printing the material. So our greatest need is financial. Uh, we are challenging schools across the world to 
raise funds for us by allowing their students to rent their desk for a day in recognition that they have a desk and children in many parts of Africa don't even have a school to go to. So um, we do have need for financial support and we also want prayer support and our website has uh, every week opportunities for prayer posted there. When you go and bless other people, what you get in return is so much more than what you put in. And again, the children's lives that you touch, no one can put a price on that. No one can take away a personal experience. For me, open schools is in my blood. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I breathe it. It's, it's part of who I am.